What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Farewell34, and today I'm here with my reaction video to Full Metal Alchemist Episode 6. What it do, Ski? Hope you're all doing well. In case you don't know me, I'm Farewell, and uh, yeah, last episode of Full Metal Alchemist was one of my favorites so far. We had, I feel like, Edward reaching his low, as well as Alfonso. Um, they just got bodied by Scar, who's a new character from this um, group of people who literally got w the genocide happened to them pretty much via the hand of the Full Metals, thus the reasoning, thus why he wants to go and kill all of them. And that's why he ran up to Alfonso when he's uh, to the brothers when they're at their lowest point so far. Great episode, and I'm looking forward to where the series is gonna go. I think now we're gonna be seeing um, Edward be getting a new hand, and maybe Alphonse uh, either getting a new suit, or Edward, I'd imagine Edward would get a new hand and he just transmutate in his body to fix it as his suit. Um, or they, I don't know, really, something along the lines of that, I'm guessing. But that being said, let's just dive right into this one. If you're here early, you might be one of my patrons, so I want to give a huge shout out to every single one of you. In case you're interested in getting early access to these videos or the full unedited raw reaction, then definitely want to go and check out patreon.com slash 34 in the description down below. Again, um, if not, you can just be sure to watch on YouTube, but YouTube, the Patreon audience is much farther ahead. Um, and of course, definitely be sure to leave a hot like and subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said though, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this one going. Yeet. All right, all right. Ed and Al, realizing the joy I love the commentary too, like the recaps. To survive and move forward. Can we just dive right into the story again? To return to their home in Hashtag Road of Hope. Mm. The folks at the Eastern Command Center were a little too busy to make it down here today, so I came to see you off instead. Great, but would you mind telling me what the Major's doing here? For protection. Children could be so stubborn. Hey, shut up! I'm so, your child! So how old is that again? Anyway, also, are you sure Al made it on board? Of course. Oh, uh, he's in the, the back of the truck or whatever. <laughs> I cannot wait for when Ed gets older, a little bit more like, wiser and mature, and he starts popping all the different transmutations, bro. It's gonna be hype. I'm proud of you, my team. Oh, that'd be a hot beat. Someone sampled that for a hip-hop song? Or soul beat? Dr. Marco, that is you, isn't it? It's me, Alex Louis Armstrong from Central. Armstrong? Why are you running, bro? He's from Central. He's really been a lifesaver. Oh, God, let me guess. He's evil. He never gives up on anybody. He's probably evil. We're lucky he's here. You see this big, bright flash of light, and then you're cured just like that. This is it. Uh, Pull up with the get, like. All right, tell me what you two are doing here. No order to have to dirty my hands researching that thing was too much. What thing is that? Let me guess. Transportation. It took so many lives during the Civil War. So many innocent oh, died they because probably, of it. They probably tried doing it on those people. I could spend my whole life trying and still never atone for the things I've done. But I had to do something, so I came here to be a doctor to save lives instead of taking them. Doctor, the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> oh, it's even more than those. The top secret materials I took were my research documents, and the stone itself. Did you mean you still have it? It's here? No. Oh, wait, what? How can that be the stone? The Sage's Stone, the Grand Elixir, the Celestial Stone, the Red Tincture, oh. the Fifth Element. Not Just as the element. Philosopher's Stone is called by many names, so it can take on many forms, it is not necessarily a stone. This is an incomplete product, however. There's no way to know when it will reach its limit and become unusable. It was incomplete, but it still amplified his powers considerably. Mm, okay, so there's multiple in there, I guess? Imitation stones this powerful can be produced. Who's to say a complete product can't be created? <coughs> Please, Dr. Marco, I need access to your research materials. Major, who exactly is this boy? Who's, who's man is this? This boy is a state alchemist doctor. And now a child. You think I don't know what I've signed up for? I know what I'm doing, but I don't have any choice. If this is a mistake, then it's a mistake I have to make. There is no other way. 
Maybe one as talented as you would be able to produce a complete philosopher's stone. So, so there's something you have to but make. I can't show you my research. Oh. Why not? You must not seek after the stone. Not even if it's to get our bodies back? Never. This is the devil's research. If you chase the stone, you will go through hell. I've already been, I've already been through hell. He simply can, and he simply cannot. Therefore, he must. I've That's already been through hell. I wanted it so badly I could almost taste it. But still. But still, we don't want it so badly that we'd be willing to deprive this town of their only doctor to get it. We gain plenty just by finding out that the Philosopher's Stone can be made. Now we'll just have to look for some other way to do it. Yeah, that's actually very true. That's what I kind of took away from that. I'm at a simple small town doctor today. I can't see any real reason to report that. And then he's going to have like some pain from it because Wait. he's going to die or some evil villain's going to come. Or never mind, he's running back right now. So what's going on? Dr. Marco? This is where my materials are. Look closely. Maybe you'll find the truth hidden within the truth. Truth said too much already. National Central Library, first branch. Well, I get it. Like hiding a tree in the forest. Finding one book in that giant library will be difficult indeed. I've been looking for you, Marco. Who's <clears> that? <throat> Full Metal Alchemist. <clears throat> Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> Excuse me. Yo. Oh dear, what have you done now? A lot has happened. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. This is Major Alex Louise Armstrong. I'm Panaco Rockbell. Oh, remember the last time I there was a dog? Seen you for a while, Ed. But you've gone and grown smaller. Honey, <laughs> you've got it wrong. You're supposed to say how big you've grown lately, Ed. But why would I say something so clearly untrue? I'm still taller than you, you mini hag! <laughs> The rest are real. Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. You mess with the foot? Yeah. Two, three days, huh? Between machining, assembly, connecting, and finishing, that's three all nighters. I'm sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> well, you want to get to Central as soon as possible, right? Then I'll work my butt off for you. But you better believe you're going to pay a fortune in rush order fees. <laughs> what do you want to get a splinter? I haven't seen Edward anywhere around the house in a while. Yeah. He said he was going off to visit his mother's grave. Aww. Aww. No. <laughs> Major. What kind of lives are the boys leading these days? They have yet to send us so much as a single letter. Ed and Al are well known for their alchemy, even in a high-profile place like Central. Sometimes that gets them into trouble. They seem to have a knack for finding it. <laughs> Yo, he's 100% getting roasted for his height. I'm curious, man, not them. What are you Speak doing? Speak of the Elrics as though they were your grandsons. The boy's father is an old drinking pal of mine. One day, he up and left the village, abandoning his wife and sons. I don't even know whether he's alive now or not. Oh, that's definitely gonna connect. Oh, that's such a setup. Are you dumb? Oh, he just happened. He's probably gonna either be a villain or some key crucial alchemist to help him in the end of ending arc. They both died in the Civil War. So this war is oh, actually looks sweet. Like it's about time for me to get supper started. I don't know if it'll just like, like a like small episode sort of trope. Don't worry, there's plenty. The boys don't have anywhere else to stay but here. Yeah, you know, same Only one more guess Twitter. won't be any inconvenience to us. What about the house they grew up in? The brothers don't have any home to return to. The day they left after Ed had gotten his state certification, they burned down their own house. My guess is they did it because with no house to come home to, there could be no turning back. Well, that's actually such a commitment. Yeah, you're right. That's the definition of dead ass. We should head back. Holy crap. I rate them. I actually do. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> what a tremendous sacrifice to so get now he's going to join them? 
What determination to burn down your own house to make sure there was no retreat. He's a pretty good character so far. And the fact that the fact that Chris Sabat is an English voice actor makes it even better. So could he transmute if he tra make a transmutation if he just grabbed his foot and did like oh, did that work? Look at you working hard so early in the morning. Yo, so he's gonna get a sick ass buff. Our biggest source of income? Still, With what money? Do you want me to do this right or not? <laughs> well, yeah, feels good. I increased the percentage of chrome this time, so it should be less prone to rusting. The trade-off is that it's not quite as strong, so don't try anything crazy. Aww. Hey, listen up! You can fix him right here. Trying yep. to take. You have to know the trick to it or not to ruin it. Bless! Let's go. Yeah, give him a jetpack or something yeah. too. Like, why not? Doctor Marco's documents. We leave first thing tomorrow morning. Oh hell yeah, man! Oh, I'm gonna attack while they're here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Thank you. I'm 14. My brother's 15. He's 15. That is pretty young, man. To think someone as young and as small as he is could be used as a human weapon. I'm so grateful to you for always welcoming us like we're really family. I won't ever say it, but I know brother feels the same way. Don't you worry, dear. We know he feels that way, too. He doesn't have to say it. Great. Appreciate you. Thank you. Why is that me? <laughs> Thank you again for everything, Granny. Sure. Hey, where's Wendy? Resting. She stayed up three nights in a row. Come back soon, okay? If they catch, if they get a fade, if yeah. they die, <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad. But they seem they're too significant to their to their history. <laughs> And background for them to just be off to like the next episode or something. If anything, it would be like a good chipstone for a higher tier villain towards like a more climax of the series to give him some to get him really cheesed. But anyway, that was Full Metal Alchemist season. No seasons. I keep ah oh, Jesus. Full Metal Alchemist episode five, y'all. That was my reaction. Uh, no, episode six. That was my reaction, y'all. What did you think about this episode? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, this was an okay episode. We got some more backstory um, about his family, but not really family. So they're like his place he goes to, his hometown to go get his gear, his gears fixed. Um, we also learned his a the age confirmed for both the boys. You could probably do the math. Uh, we learned more about that. A little bit more about the Civil War through Armstrong. We learned now about the Philosopher's Stone, which is really interesting that there's ways to make multiples of them and like partial partial philosopher stones and they have an idea of where to go now so we're definitely gonna see them heading towards there to make their own potentially but we're only in episode six we got what another freaking 54 episodes so we got quite a while to go but anyway that's gonna wrap it up for this video as always if you enjoyed it then be sure to leave a hot like and subscribe if you haven't already again if you're interested in getting full unedited raw reactions plus way early access to these videos on youtube then definitely want to go and check out patreon.com slash fellow 34 in the description down below anyway though with that being said i'll see you next time y'all peace